Hey everybody, BK here at Space Trucking Saturday, and today we're taking a quick look at something I've built. Uh, it is the Work Assist Vehicle, or WAV for short, or WAVE I guess is the proper way to pronounce it, but it doesn't really have an E. Uh, I got the name off of a thing we use at work. Uh, it's like a man lift. Anyway, uh, this is a modular work vehicle. Uh, you can see a couple modules floating around there, plus I build another one using a projector, just, you know, just in case. Um, I, it's very modded, obviously. I'm using a lot of the uh, azimuth, like, uh, thrusters for everything, because I don't really like the vanilla thrusters. Uh, I'm using, like, the small blocks mod for, like, these windows. Uh, you know, these, I think, don't go on small ships otherwise. Uh, in, in fact, these are... The top two are attached to that block over there, and these bottom two are attached down here. They cannot connect at this joint here. So it's actually, just, it's pretty much just for looks. It does not have any structural integrity whatsoever. I've also got a camera up front and a remote control down here, along with obviously this antenna, which, uh, you know, allows me to control this remotely if it need be. And I've got a connector on the back, uh, just to, you know, fuel the thing up if, uh, you know, it's running a little bit low on fuel, uh, I believe. I believe I have an oxygen generator in it. Uh, I might not have uh, put that in the final version. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but then obviously I've got the merge block down here to connect the modules. So basically, uh, what this does, let's hop in real quick here. As you can see, I've got it set, uh, you know, at kind of a sideways angle so I can see what I'm doing in a little bit here. So we can go ahead and hit 3 to turn on that merge block. I've got, already got it bound to my uh, hotkeys there. Uh, let's go up a little bit and tilt. Oop! Almost. And there we go. So now, as you can see, I've got my uh, mining module on there. It's got some spotlights and a camera on the front for the uh, remote control. It's also got its own connector at the bottom, uh, which doesn't really serve a purpose on the drilling version of the wave because you can't really transfer raw materials with the connectors at least not yet but I've kind of future proof this uh, I also put a spare tire on the hoods of all of the modules I just think it looks cool and also it kind of protects the uh, um, from getting hit you know it protects the um, what do you call it the cargo container because the cargo containers kind of uh, tend to explode so I wanted to make sure they're protected at the top there, just in case I, you know, like, just randomly go back and hit something while I'm mining or welding or whatever. So let's just take a little look outside of this here, just so you can see, like, the grand scope of all of this. So you see you got the connector down there, the lights. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with actually using these, because then I'd have to turn my HUD back on and, like, rebind the hotkeys. And, just a lot of not fun stuff. So let's get back in here real quick. Um, and I'll show you the next module here. Let's disconnect. Okay. So this is the view you get in the cockpit here. Uh, it's utilitarian at best. Um, I wanted to make this kind of like, uh, look pretty much like a bulldozer, you know. Uh, not pretty, but it gets the job done. One of those kind of vehicles. So let's uh, try to get connected up here. This takes a little bit of practice to get this stuff figured out here. Oh, a little bit. Almost. Come on, there we go. So here's the grinder module. I put a little bit more armor on it just to slow it down so I don't accidentally slam into anything I'm uh, grinding. Actually, I meant to do that with the welder, actually, is <laughs> to not damage whatever I'm uh, welding. But obviously I didn't do that. It's down there. It's pretty much the exact same as the... Uh, mining module but with obviously it's got uh, welders on it and in fact with these ones because they have the large conveyor ports on these I had to put two different cargo containers medium-sized cargo containers on the sides so this feeds into those which then feed into a uh, um, conveyor right there which then goes down to the connector port and I believe this one's actually a bit messed up. Yeah, it is. Um, what I did on this one was I actually needed to have uh, the container flipped around because I didn't have the uh, port on the bottom 
So this one is just kind of a mock-up. It won't actually work. And like I said, it doesn't matter that this doesn't work because it doesn't do anything anyway. So I just need to be able to get to the cargo container on that. Whereas this, I can transfer materials in like out of the grinder uh, that I grind down. I can transfer them into like my main base or something. And uh, with the welding version, which is pretty much the exact same thing, I'll, I can transfer materials into the containers here through that connector. And this is uh, the earlier prototype of the wave. Uh, the only difference being there's no blinky light on here showing that it's an industrial building, I mean, uh, not building, uh, vehicle. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, take this thing for a spin, just like show you. Yeah, it's got it's got a good bit of speed to it. I mean, it can it can maneuver. It's pretty maneuverable. Uh, those azimuth thrusters, I have like about six on every direction, um, except for back. I only got three going backwards, but I mean, uh, forwards. I only got two going backwards. But those like with this, you don't really need to go fast, but you need to be able to maneuver around and adjust your heading. Uh, when you're in close quarters a lot more than you need to be able to fly in a straight line because you know how often are you going to be doing this compared to you know how often are you going to need to you know be able to maneuver around say like this shuttle over here without hitting it and damaging the wave or the shuttle if you're using the welder you know but I mean, that's pretty much what I've been up to uh, if you want to see more oh do I have my feet up on the oh, I do that's cool didn't realize he'd do that. He put his feet up on the uh, slope, like the slopes there. Anyway, uh, if you'd like to see more of uh, Space Engineers, I would love to do a series on this for Space Trekking Saturdays. This is just sort of like a uh, little example of what I've been doing. Um, and also, I didn't have much time to record Space Trekking Saturday today, uh, so I couldn't really do a whole EV Nova episode. Plus, that, that game doesn't do very good, uh, you know, it's not very fun to watch, honestly. But uh, if you want to see more uh, Space Engineers, I'd love to do a series on it. Um, I've got my uh, fake company for transport, the Baltimore and Orion uh, Transport and Logistics Company. That's my uh, space trucking company for this game. So, you know, if you're interested, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a... Sub you don't really leave subscriptions, but you know what I mean. But until next time, I've been BK. Later.